My name is Greg Tossi. I'm a Vice President of Operations for Bloedel Forest. I've been with them for about uh, 27, 27 years. Uh, this stand was planted in 2008. We would can consider it in July about 11 and a half years old. Uh, by October it would have pretty much completed its 12th growing season. This, this stand was site prepared by a, uh, an aerial herbicide, helicopter applied aerial herbicide. It was rough raked uh, beforehand uh, in order to clear the ground for hand planting crews. Uh, then it was uh, planted with a hand planting crew using hoe dads and the cost was about uh, $210 an acre for the site preparation and planting. So at this stage of the game, third generation trees are available to the public. And they're selecting for trees then that have higher growth rates, that have uh, more, they're straighter, that have smaller branches, and, and less disease uh, than uh, unimproved stock. Uh, we did not do herbaceous late spring, or we did not do spring herbaceous weed control on this property. We did do uh, an oust application in late fall and then oust, oust application will carry over and give you some control in the spring uh, and uh, without having to incur the extra application cost. Uh, this stand will be thinned in uh, probably two years with the age of 14. Uh, we, we do thin as, er at, as early as age of 12, but I think it'll probably take a couple more years here. And what we will thin to is a basal area of 70 square feet per acre we would be looking for about 200 trees per acre uh, at, at that time. Uh, and we would estimate that we're going to get uh, uh, three to $400 per acre of revenue off during the first thinning. Okay. Basal area is the cross-sectional area of the trees, the, 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 the stem of the trees at four and a half feet, which is DBH, what foresters call diameter at breast height, above the ground. So a 13 inch tree would have one square foot of basal area or something very close to that. So you add up all of the uh, all of the trees on an acre and we would say that we're looking at say 100 square feet of basal area. That would mean that, uh, th that the cross-sectional area of the trees on that acre would occupy 100 square feet. It's a measure of density. It lets us know how dense a stand is and whether it is uh, in need of thinning or not. N normally, after the first thinning on this stand, we would look to do a second thinning on most of everything we do in five to seven years after that. And we would again, we would be looking for a basal area of 100, 110, 120, and then we would thin it and cut it back to about 70 square feet. We would hope to generate uh, maybe uh, $450, $500 per acre of revenue at that point in time. And uh, again, cut it back to 70 square feet of basal area. And then we would expect to hold it uh, to maturity at some which would be 28 to 32 years old and, and harvest at that point in time. We would hope that we would be able to achieve range of $2,000 plus an acre at harvest.